Hello everybody, Nefros here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I've decided to put my Pokemon playthrough on hold in order to go through this. Uh, some of you may recognize this as Agrarian Skies, made by Jaded Cat, uh, one of the Feed the Beast people. Um, this is a mod pack designed for pretty much, it's pretty much difficulty. It's, uh, you're in a skyblock, there's not much land to go with, I'm not sure if that's... Is there sound coming through here? Yeah, there's sound coming through here. We're going to go ahead and put this rain off. I don't know if you guys can hear that rain or not. Uh, but I'm going to stick this thing... Uh, we're going to stick it right here for now. That'll keep the rain from being too noisy. Um, as you can see, we have one dirt block to work with. Um, we have this chest with a few things in it. Uh, some bone meal. Three saplings. Uh, some books and all that, and, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, grab this and this for now, and before we actually get started started, uh, we're going to hide in here for a minute, and I'm gonna open this book. This is the quest book, has a bunch of stuff, explains how to do the mod pack and all that kind of thing. Um, it's a big long intro, I'm gonna let it play for itself, so I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. Uh, let's mute my mic and. It's been a horrible ten years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world, eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Visley, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The Great Trio cast their spell to protect you, while the magician way of flowing time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the cute one have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree, get wood. Alright, I uh, hope that wasn't too boring for you guys. Uh, that's the intro for this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click this. Now there's uh, a bunch of chapters here. Uh, these all have different quests in them. Um, we're going to start with, of course, landing to Scott Blog. As you can see, we have two lives. Uh, we've died zero times. Uh, as you can see, it'll tell you what we died from, but uh, we haven't died, so that's no problem. You can use party, and you can play with friends. Um, the way this works here is uh, you, you'll share lives and quest completions and all that, and you'll both get uh, rewards for the quest, so you can play around with it with multiple people. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to open this up and open and now we have this we have using the book using the book is a new invention from this way scott weirs and lord dusk you will be maybe wondering how to use this book on the off chance that you have no idea what you are doing this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines first off if you right click on any page you will go back to the previous page if a quest is dark it is locked and you will need to complete one or more quests uh need that's a typo there uh Unlock the quest in the first menu of this book. You should have noticed several numbered sets of quests, some of which are unlocked. You will have to complete quests found in a different set to unlock new sets of quests. There are two types of tasks and two ways to submit quests for completion. The first type of quest is the crafting quest. This quest will tell you to craft a specific item or block. Once you craft the required item in the crafting grid, the book will update the quest completion. Uh, I probably will not read all of these. Uh, but that's the basics. Uh, basically, we need an oak wood plank, and we'll get an apple and a pick of shattered splinter dreams. Excuse me. So uh, to do this, we're going to go out here. Make sure there's no monsters hiding out here, because uh, the platform is not fully lit. And we are going to plant this here. 
and grow it. And we have a tree, and I would be in the middle of it. Okay, we're going to have to break these two leaves so we can get to the wood. We're not going to break all of the wood. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I might have to. Oh, no, we will be able to get, we'll be able to slow it down. All right, we'll get three pieces of wood. We're not breaking all of it because um, I plan on using it. We're going to turn these into planks. And I'm going to make, go ahead and make a crafting bench while I'm in the grid here. And turn that into a crafting station from Tinker's Construct. Um, as you can see, we've completed this. So just claim reward and you get your apple and your pick. Uh, that'll unlock manual completion and the librarian. Uh, manual completion will require us to submit a wood plank. Which you just hit the manual submit and you'll get this quest delivery system. And that'll lead us to another quest and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and place this right here, make some sticks. Now I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but it's to, because of the way the tree made uh, act like that, uh, sticks like that, and you get a crook. Now the crook is used to uh, break leaves, and each time you break leaves it increases the chance of sapling drops, as you can see there. And you also have a chance of getting a silkworm, which will be needed later. The silkworms are pretty rare, and it can get pretty grindy. Um, it's, I, I, was, I got really lucky, and I got one on my first tree. Uh, that is very, very nice for where I'm at now. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and break the rest of this tree. And I'm going to see if I can set up a barrel while it's raining, because I have terrible luck with this rain. Uh, the barrels, I'm not sure if I have enough wood for it. Uh, no, I don't. So we're going to have to make another tree real fast. And there we go. Uh, let's cook that. Let's not break those. Once again, I'm having uh, issues with the uh, trees growing too small. But um, that's okay. It's all good. We're going to get some wood and we're going to make this barrel. Uh, normally, I'm making this barrel really early. But that's only because the way I was doing this, it's raining. And I would like to get some water in my barrels. Uh, that's important. That's that's not working like I, I want it to. Okay. And we're going to make two. And we're going to stick them. For now, we're going to stick them over here. So they'll fill up with the water. You want these to fill up with the water. It's the only way to get clay. And it only they only fill up when you rain. Or if you get a bucket and fill them up with the bucket. But we can't get a bucket yet because we have no metal. And we're going to work towards that. That's We're a long way off from that. So I'm going to go ahead and crick the rest of these leaves. And we'll continue with our questing now that I've got the barrel set up. And hopefully it won't stop raining before they're full. Uh, the reason I went ahead and did that is... I've played through this. I've played a little bit through this on other... Like on single player without recording. Just to get a feel for the starting. Um... I've had terrible luck with it. Like, I've had terrible luck with the, uh, rain. Like, I never, like, it hardly ever rains for me. So, uh, my, and that might be because I sleep the night off, and, uh, I hear that's a bad thing for that. Uh, we got two worms. Fantastic. Uh, the worms can also be used for food. That reminds me of something else. Uh, food is scarce, and food is very, 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 uh, hard to use, because it, their hunger overhaul. Um, Pam's Harvest Craft. Let's search up. Uh, no. Pam? Maybe Pam? Yeah. As you can see, there are multiple types of food you can make, and each one gives you different. Um, well, maybe not multiple types of food you can make, but you use this stuff to make, like, sandwiches and hamburgers and things like that. Let's see. Hamburger. Or cheeseburger. Let's do cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Requires. A pan, a skillet, uh, tofu or steak, and toast. Toast is smelted bread. Uh, so you need a little... It's not that terrible to make, but uh, it still takes a bit. You know, and different foods give you different saturation and things like that. And apples give you like half a meat stick. They're not very good. Uh, I think these give one meat stick, and they don't have no saturation. But uh, yeah. Uh, as I said, we're going to go ahead and continue this quest line. Uh, another thing you don't want to do, since hunger is such a big problem, you do not want to jump. Uh, we're going to break this out, and we're going to break this out, and that should let us... Um, we're going to have to break this one too. That'll give us things. So we make slabs so we don't have to jump up and down. 
and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do this next part of the quest uh, the next quest is the QDS quest delivery system uh, I'm not gonna read all this uh, I get a heart piece basically it means you can right click it you'll get another life uh, this is a full one there's four it's kinda like Zelda if you've ever played Zelda you get the four heart containers you make one full heart and you get an extra health thing but in this case you get extra life um, Use the hopper to submit a plank. Basically, put the quest delivery system down and put a hopper on it. Then click the second task that pops up to the left. No help given. And click the hopper to back to manual submit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put this down. Grab this hopper. We're going to put this right here. And we're going to take the hopper and stick it on top. Now, what we're going to have to do is uh, select task. You hit the select task and you right click on that. And uh, put a. We're gonna have to make wood plank. Put a wood plank in there, and open it back up. And see, as you can see, it's complete. And you go back to no help given, which is the second step in this quest. And you're gonna need to take your pick of shattered splinter dreams, take your hopper back up, and manual submit and claim your reward. Now we got our heart, and we got the third life. And we got this reward back. It's a basic. They have different levels, and they give different. They have random chance of giving you nifty stuff. Um, got decorations. Uh, not very helpful. Uh, the glowstone bricks are actually nice. They'll help me light up stuff if I need to. Uh, but nothing, nothing fancy here. Uh, we're just gonna store these away, and move on with our life for now. Um, I might be able to use those for something. The glowstone definitely, because they glow. That's useful. Uh, but the rest is not as uh, nifty. Alright, so what's the next quest in line? Uh, it should be in the beginning. Uh, we will need to make these things. Now, I've already made three of these. Uh, the next thing we need is a stencil table from Tinker's Construct, tool station from Tinker's Construct, and a part builder, and a chest. So we're going to need a little more wood. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make another tree. And um, I should be cooking those. And we're going to head chop it down. Now, um, you may be wondering why I haven't made an axe yet. Well, except for the hose. Vanilla tools and weapons and things like that are disabled. You cannot make those. You have to use Tinker's Construct tools. Um, and certain, those are nerfed too. So you can't like just go make wood tools out of Tinker's Construct. No, no, no. You have to make a... Uh, you have to make them out of stone or better. Uh, I think an axe has to be made out of flint for example, which is why you have eight flint in the chest in there. Um, I got really lucky again and got another uh, silkworm, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, that that makes me happy in ways you don't understand. Uh, most time I go through four or five trees before I get one silkworm. Uh, your luck may not, it'll vary, um, but uh, hopefully you will not have that much problem. We're going to make another tree. Hopefully you won't have as many problems as I do with it, and hopefully you'll be as lucky as I am for this video. Uh, it means I have to grind less for you guys. Um, now this is very grindy, and anybody who knows me personally knows I'm not a big fan of grinding. I'm not a huge, huge fan of it, but uh, I like challenge, and this is definitely challenging. Now these crooks don't last a long time, just so you know, but uh, I think those bone crooks last longer, but uh, I've never used them, so I'm not certain. Uh, I'm not even certain they're used for the same thing. Um, yeah, as I was saying, anybody who knows me personally, I'm not a big fan of grinding, but, uh, this is challenging, and it's done in a interesting way to grind through this and, um, all that. And it requires a lot of trees and a lot of saplings, and at, at the beginning it requires a lot of saplings. Uh, there, once you get, once you get iron, uh, two ing iron ingots, which takes a little bit of time, you can make shears, and then you can really progress. But I'll, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll explain that in better detail later. Another thing uh, I forgot to mention: a uh, little Easter egg. Uh, if you right, if you break that dirt block, there's a dirt chest nine thousand with eight more pieces of dirt down there, and those are actually really useful for expanding early in. Uh, we're going to do that as soon as we possibly can. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn those into that and make eight sticks and one two three blank patterns and we're going to use these to make the rest of the things we need we need a stencil table and i need to actually i need another piece of oak wood so i'm gonna have to i messed up and turn all my wood into planks 
uh, we're going to need a tool station, and the last thing we're going to need is a piece of oak wood. Do, 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 any day now. There we go. Is that a big tree? Nope. Thank you. Uh, the big trees are nice, but they're a pain to tear down at the beginning if you want to get all the saplings out of them. Uh, oak wood and part builder. Now we have everything we need except for a chest. We want to make a chest. We'll make one of those and done. Now, so we're already done with that, so claim reward. Now, here's one you get to pick. Now, you might want to say, hey, well, I need the axe. No. No, 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 no. Panel Destiny. Every time. I'll let you cook foods better and it's got decent knockback. Um, but having the ability to cook food early and for the worms, if you get a lot of worms, it, it's, it's much better. Um, and I jumped like a fool. And you also get a decent set of apples, uh, so you can live longer. We're going to go ahead and right click this, shift right click, and you put it on the floor, and you can cook stuff in it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this bag here. Let's set our inventory, and uh, okay, but not great reward, chicken jerky. Uh, we got some decent food now. We have eight pieces of chicken jerky. That'll, that'll, that should keep us alive. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm happy with that than some other things you can get. But uh, we're not going to cook our worms just yet. I just want to show you guys how to set that down. We're going to leave it there for now. Uh, when you get these heart containers, it's a good idea to store them away. Uh, don't keep them in your inventory. We're going to put this. We're going to put this right here for now, and um, we're going to set down our tables. Yep, we're going to set these. Do I want to put them in here? No, I don't think I want to put them in there. I think I'm going to put them right here for now. So I'm going to put them right here for now, and. I, I plan on moving these later. Uh, I just have little room to work with and not a whole lot of uh, options to put them. So we're going to go ahead and make a blank pattern. Uh, we're going to make the one thing we really, really absolutely need. And we're going to make a... Um, where's it at? I'm going backwards. We're going to make a axe head pattern. And we'll need the flint for this. Make some, take some flint. And you use a part builder. Uh, if you don't know Tinker's Cry, if you don't know mods very well, it's generally probably not a good, terribly good idea to go through this mod pack. Uh, it, it does require knowledge of mods, and some of them I don't know, but uh, I learn pretty quickly, so I don't think I'll have an issue. Uh, I know quite a bit of other mods, so we'll go with that. Anyway, here's my hatchet, my flint hatchet. We're good to go in that regard. That'll that'll make things a lot smoother. Let's go ahead and crick these leaves, and uh, I'm going to set up my... Actually, I'm going to need... I think I'm going to set up a couple more barrels, because it's still raining, and that's really, really nice. Uh, I'd rather use my wood for other stuff at the moment, but uh, right now, while the rain is going, I need to get that water in those, because I need those. That's that's the... Uh, if anything, you need water in barrels. That's what you, I think the general rule is to set up about four or five uh, at the start. To make sure you have enough water, because you need a good bit of clay here at the start uh, to make uh, buckets and things like that to get uh, to get lava going. And ah, uh, uh, <laughs> right when I talk about doing it, it stops. Oh well, we got two buckets full of water. That's still not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more wood, and we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and make it. Uh, two more buckets, and uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and make. A few more of those. We're gonna need more buckets than that. Just not just for water, but for other things. Uh, do, do let's go ahead and max those out at four. We'll put these two down here, and we will put uh, two here and here. Now what we're gonna do with these? We're gonna put uh, saplings in those to get dirt. Um, but for now, we're gonna grow another set of dirt there. Um, I need, I'm jumping around like an idiot, jumping around like a fool, um, I'm gonna need more slabs, uh, the reason I'm making a lot more slabs is, I need a bigger platform, um, probably wasn't smart to go ahead and do that while I did not have a full crook, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make more planks, more sticks. Yeah, like like I said, this is a little boring at the start here, guys. Uh, I do plan on doing some stuff off camera, uh, grinding mostly, uh, and I'll show you guys some cool stuff after I'm done that. 
But uh, I'll show you guys how to do something here soon. Uh, this is the next step in the plan. Uh, if you have a silkworm. We probably should be looking at our quest. I forget what quest is next. But uh, I think we pretty much need to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, we already got that. Yeah, we need silk. We need a good bit of silk, uh, which is string, basically. Um, uh, how do I make the book binder? I never looked at that one. Book binder requires paper and string. Paper can be made through wood chips or sugarcane. Not something we can do readily at the moment. Um, yeah, we're not. That's why I haven't done it. I didn't. I never had paper yet. Uh, not that I couldn't get it. I just never made it. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make some more, let's see, let's make some, let's keep two pieces of wood, and we will make 40 oak wood slabs, and we're going to go over here. Um, now what we're going to do over here is somewhat dangerous, let's see, I think it's, now, now another thing you need to remember, these micro blocks here. Uh, as you can see, it's four micro blocks. You cannot shift on those. You will fall off the edge. You will die. Uh, be very careful. Yeah, let's stick those like that. Um, yep, and there we go. Now we're, we're, we're starting. What we're doing is we're starting another platform. Uh, so I can put trees over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. One. And if I'm not mistaken. Mobs won't spawn on these because they're half slabs. Now the half slabs you can shift on, thank God, but uh, the micro blocks you cannot. So be very, very careful. Uh, if you die, you will hate yourself. I promise. There's backup stuff, but uh, for the most part, it's not uh, fun. Let's go ahead and max that out as much as we can. Uh, I plan on fixing this a little, like. Increasing this platform later, but for now we are good. Now I'm going to tear this. Let's see. I'm going to tear the middle out. Is it the middle? Yep, that's the middle. Let's go ahead and tear that one out so we can get it. Yep. And we're going to put a piece of dirt down. Uh, now it sticks up a little bit. That's fine. We're going to grow it, and we're going to put a silkworm. Now only one is needed for a tree. It'll just you leave it and right-click it and leave it and come back later. Oh crap. Um, yeah, that's not good. The creeper is not good. I can deal with the skeleton. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not in the mood to fight these guys. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to stay over here. Hopefully, hopefully they're stuck on that side. I do not want to get knocked off. Oh, yeah, there's a skeleton over there, and there's a zombie over there, and yeah. Well, I guess we're going to wait over here until daytime. Uh, did the creeper fall off? The creeper did fall off. So let's uh, let's see if we can knock these guys off the edge. I like their stuff. But, uh... Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, those guys hurt. Uh, we're probably on hard mode, aren't we? Nope, we're on normal. Fancy that. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good hard, hard hit on my foot. Ooh, God, he's coming to me. Alright, we should be able to kill him in the house if he comes in. Yep. And he's done. Now the arrows are nice to have. If we oh we got a miniature red heart, nice. Uh, too bad I don't have anything to use that with. Didn't even get bone for that. Come on, really? All right, let's see. Let's see if we can get him to shoot me. Shoot. Go. Nope. Nope. Wait. There we go. Ah. Okay. If we got him. Now we might have lost something in the water. Uh, it's falling down. If we're lucky, we might be able to catch it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Did we get anything? We got a bone. Uh, I'd rather have arrows, but okay. Alright. Not terrible. Not terrible. We could have did better, but, uh, we'll both. Um, the reason I want arrows is, I believe it's nine arrows, or is it eight arrows? It gets you a chicken egg. Uh, let's see. Arrow. I mean, not arrow. Uh, chicken... Chicken, chicken, chicken. Egg. Where is it at? Yeah, chicken egg. spawn egg. Nine arrows makes one chicken spawn egg, which can be used for all sorts of things. But uh, yeah. Excuse me. So we got that going finally. 
Uh, thankfully, I did not die to the monsters, but uh, it did put a hurt in my food. Uh, we're going to plant this other tree and grow it. Now, I, like, I'm going to eventually stop using bone meal on these, but uh, right now, while I have not very much uh, space to work with, I'm just going to bone meal until I can uh, build a bigger platform to grow trees on. Because I'll eventually turn this, this one I'll use to grow my silk, and then I'll put my tree farm over that way. Um, now the biomes are useful. This is a forest, so we should be able to get, if we get some grass seeds, we can make gra grass grow, which will help us spawn mobs, but, uh, it's generally easier just to use the, uh, just to use the, uh, chicken eggs that I showed you. Let's go ahead and turn this into a crook. You will need a lot of crooks, uh, if you want to get saplings. Um, I do it for food and I do it for saplings, so, like, you don't have to do it that way. Um, after you get your first, uh, after you get your first, uh, silkworm, you don't really have to do it that way, but, uh, I, I generally do. Um, as you can see, we've already started to get some silk. Uh, now what the silk is used for is, um, uh, let's see, let's, let's show you. We, you need to make a sieve. S-E-I, no, it's S-I-E-V. Yeah, sieve. Oak sieve, uh, you need... Silk mesh, which is 18 string total, because you need to, and two pieces of wood and two pieces of sticks, and you get this. Now you place it on the ground, you put a dirt in it, you right click it forever, and you get four stone and sometimes seeds. Um, I'd show you, but I think we're running out of time. Uh, I'm not sure if we're, I'm not sure how much time we're running in, but uh, it's going to take longer than um, this is going to take to grow. But uh, basically, to do this, you will take uh, your crook. As long as one white leaf is, it'll keep getting infested. You'll take your crook and right-click it, and that didn't give me shit. Uh, nothing. There we go. So we got string. You also have a chance of getting silkworms out of that. Uh, higher chance of silkworms than uh, a regular tree. Which reminds me, we should plant that. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some... Let this grow and do some more farming and I'll be back in a minute alright folks I'm back I've done a little bit of farming uh, I'm gonna stop using bone meal because you need it for other stuff really like I, I tell you get a mob farm it's uh, I've got a stack and a half left um, I've got all the string I need uh, I've done most everything so we're gonna go ahead and make our bed here uh, I've already made my fishing rod and we're gonna make our sea which is that if I'm not mistaken that 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 and that and we have our first sieve uh... you can make a couple of these uh... you don't have to be stuck to just one um... if you're wondering why i have keeping everything in this isolated area it's because uh, i want to do as little walking as possible to conserve food we're going to stick this one actually we're going to break this block this micro block here uh... these micro blocks are kind of annoying and i think we're going to break this one too um, kind of annoying in the way sometimes uh... for <laughs> Ah, oh, there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. Uh, there we go. And we're going to put it there. Now, up here we have our oak barrels that I placed. I put them under the hood. That way they won't fill up with rain. Uh, I've already set this one up, and it's already finished. Uh, but basically what you do is you take some saplings. You can use string. It takes a lot of string. You can use fish, food, most food sources. Um, leaves are the best thing to use in these uh, when you get them. Uh, but you need two iron for shears first. But uh, for now, we're going to use saplings. It takes eight saplings to fill it up. So just right-click them in and just wait. It'll turn into dirt, which is what we have over here. Right-click it, and you get your dirt. Now, what you do with dirt is we're going to we're going to take a couple pieces and show you. You right-click it on the sieve, and you just hold down right-click, and it sifts through it. And you get. I'll show you after I finish this piece. You get stones now i didn't get i didn't get enough stones to make uh two pieces of cobblestone we're gonna go through this dirt a little more uh i guess i keep keep putting dirt in there um uh, you have a chance of getting seeds and stuff from this like see i got a rubber tree seed awesome that's that's pr uh, pretty rare now these stones you shift right click and you get cobblestone just your cobblestone uh the next thing we need to do is something i forgot to do something i forgot to make rather uh, you need a hammer. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's... Wait, how, how, am I forgetting how to do this? 
Uh, yeah, I'm forgetting how to do this. Let's, let's just look it up in any eye. Um, oh, that way. It's, I did the wrong direction. Alright. Okay, that's doing some weird. Make a wood hammer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this quest in. We got it complete. Uh, choose war reward. Um, carrot seeds right here are probably the best. You can use them for decent food. Uh, these seeds aren't too uncommon, so we're gonna go ahead and get carrot seeds. Uh, very good early game food. Uh, now we got be resourceful, which requires us to get one of each dust, gravel, cobblestone, and sand, and you get one back each in uh, pickaxe and one of the, so on and so forth. Uh, we're we're getting into this thing. We're we're gonna do this one first, but uh, not right now because I don't have much time. So what I'm going to show you is this right here. Just put a piece of cobblestone down in the world, take your hammer, and break it. And you'll get a piece of gravel. Now, to continue that, you put a piece of gravel in the world, right-click it, and you get a piece of sand. Put a piece of sand in the world, right-click it, you get a dust. Now, the dust can either be used here in the sifter to get ores, or a dust to turn into ores, or what we're going to do here is we're going to put it in the water bucket. Right click it, we get a piece of clay. Uh, which is what I was after all along. Uh, to make everything, make our lives much, much easier. Um, but we'll get into that next episode of what we're going to be doing with that. Uh, turn that into, we're going to get two more pieces of clay. One. And dust. And I'll make the last, uh... I'll make the last one uh, so I can show you guys how to sift it. Or, well, I don't need to show you guys how to sift it, but show you guys what happens. Uh, right click. Do, do, do. This is where a lot of the grind comes in, doing this. Uh, there's ways to automate it later. Uh, we'll get into that. So we have our dust. We just sift it like you would do dirt, same way. And you get pulverized platinum ore and surface core studs. Now, these don't turn into squat. You have to make four of them and you get one a block of it basically and then you smelt the block. But uh, for now, we're done. Uh, I'm going to come back with another episode later. Um, probably pretty soon. Uh, I want to I kind of want to strike while the iron's hot with this. I, I'm really I really enjoy playing this and uh, I'm going to be doing this alongside my regular Feed the Beast Let's Play. Um, real quick before I go, if you lose your if you lose both of your quest books, piece of string will give you another one so you'll uh, be able to continue on if you screw up and die um, so for now uh, we got a decent set we got a decent setup here good and we got good and started uh, so I will catch you guys later peace out